able to do this. Now these, these negative things that when we are under stress, and it could be selfish, it could be personal reasons. We don't want to, I mean, it's a, but when things happen, Dr. Larry Thomas. This is Dr. Larry Thomas Show. And I uh, thank you all very much for sharing your space with me this moment in time so that uh, hopefully we can inspire, motivate one another to be the best, our best selves as we do so together. Um, we're going to talk a little bit today about graduations. As we know, you know, we, we see the posts on social media, we see them on TV, also, you know, we see it in our communities. It's, it's that time of the year for graduation. Um, now that this time has arrived, this time of year, we're going to celebrate those achievements. We're going to honor the resilience. We're going to send our children off with the um, our children who have now become young adults. And we're sending them off with that resounding, emphatic congratulations. You know, I want to take this time right now to go ahead and send a few shout outs right now. Uh, my niece, Aaliyah, that's in Jacksonville. I want to send a shout out to my nephew, Jalen. This out in Detroit. I want to send up my line nephew VJ in Orlando. Uh, congratulations to all of you, uh, the children of a couple of my friends, uh, Jason uh, Curry, whose daughter graduated from the University of Illinois. Also, my friend Darnell, his daughter Anaya, uh, she's in Kentucky. Um, also, little my nephew, little Javaris, who just graduated pre-K. He's on his way to do some very big things. Right, and he's in Jacksonville, Florida. Also, can't forget, and hope I get this right, Lejeune Jeanne Saint in Melbourne, Florida, uh, that graduated from uh, from high school down here as well. Congrats to everybody, you know. Um, and when I say congrats to everybody, I mean to to the students who graduated, also to those teachers who put in the endless amount of time investing in these youth and it, it's a very thankless job but also to those parents you know all of those together you know the teachers the adults in the community the parents family friends etc uh, they all are part of the village and they're all part of that village that pushed pulled dragged carried these graduates across the stage and got them across however we can uh, friends and family, I want you to call in. Parents, I want you to call in. Tell us how proud you are of your graduate. Tell us about how proud you are of what they've done. You know, the number is 321-216-6279. Um, give us your shout outs. Let us know how you feel. Let us know about the journey. So, and um, yeah, the graduates, I want you to call in. I want you to... Uh, let us know about you know what your goals are, what your dreams are, what do you plan on doing now that you've made this step. What what's your what do you, what's in store? What do you plan in the future? What do you want to accomplish? Number again, the number is three two one two one six six two seven nine. Um, we 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 know that as you go out there, you make your mark into the world. Um, this is a time of year. This is the culmination of. Your, the years of hard work by everybody that's involved. Everybody had a piece to share into this. You know, the graduation is a ceremony where one individual walks across the stage but is a monumental moment for all of those 
and it's a time to honor all of those that helped along the way to that, that supported this individual to get there it's those years of hard work the dedication it's the countless uh, moments of growth a lot of a lot of you discovered a little bit about yourself you look from you look now and you look back to and especially like your your high school graduates you look back to your freshman year you know you've become seasoned a little more experienced along the way in a lot of different things you grew up a lot of different ways those of you that are graduating college you know when you look back college are those formidable years as well where you start to learn a lot of things and you add it to your pool of knowledge on a lot of good things those of you that are going off to college just you, you are you're in for some great moments in store and just keep your mind open keep your head in the books but also be sure to have some fun and experience the college life experience the college life not too much prioritize the time but enjoy college life and um, and all that it has to offer for you some of you are going to join different organizations get affiliated with different groups and things like that and, and all of these are going to help you grow you're going to establish some lifelong friendships and things like that too and we're going to talk a little bit about that so let, let's take but those of you also that are listening because we've all been there at some point we graduated from something or you know personally I didn't walk the stage at, at, at high school however I did walk the stage in several other graduations that I had after high school and so we've all been there we've all had to go through this we all stepped out into a season into uh, you know a world that is awaiting for us and yet we have to be prepared so now we're going to take the take a I want you all to take a moment to inspire to reflect to embrace this, this incredible journey that's going to lie ahead of these individuals. You know, um, we need to give through our words of affirmation. We need to, ins we want to inspire, impart wisdom, cultivate encouragement. I want you all to call in and give these individuals some words of wisdom, encouragement, affirmation as they set out onto this new journey into a world that awaits what what are some of the things that we can tell them so they can be prepared when they step out there how you know we need to we need to show them love why because we are so apt to point put out other things and to focus on other stuff but let's spend the time of celebration you know you all that are graduating stepping into this new journey embarking on this new road once you all call in let us know what it is that you want to achieve. What are your goals, your dreams, your aspirations? Share it with us. You know, um, you may not realize it, but you have made a substantial accomplishment on the journey of your life. Remember the countless hours you spent studying, the late nights, the parents, the late nights and hours you spent studying with them or, you know, making sure that they stay on track. Uh, those nights filled with determination, with, with the goal, the goal of getting across that stage, the challenges that you bravely conquered. You know, many of you, you got tested in high school. You got tested not just academically, you all got tested mentally. Those of you that got involved in sports and, and, and the like, you all got tested physically. You pushed yourselves and, and you kind of understood or respected um, the limitations, the work that it took to, to be successful and to do well. Each one of you demonstrated the unwavering commitment to your education. You, you, you decided, hey, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue through. You all experienced personal growth as well. You developed new skills. You learned a little bit about yourself. You expanded your minds. You broadened your perspectives on different things. Some of you became better critical thinking as you looked at the world around you either by watching the news or looking at other things and started to conceptualize a lot of the stuff. When you started to learn stuff in school, you, is that, that, that fascination of learning something new and deciding you want to delve into this and explore more and get as much information as you can. Those of you that are in sports, maybe you started to, to delve a little bit more and learn a little bit more about your favorite athletes and started to pick up different ways of working out or different ways to develop so that you could you know be the best that you could be at that particular sport or in that particular task right you 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 expand your minds you've um, done all these things along the way you've also developed 
some strong friendships. Some of the friendships that you have in high school, yeah, you know, some you, you're going to go your separate ways because everybody has these different paths. But those paths may very well bring you back together again, too. Those paths will cross. And you may see each other several years down the road. And you sit down and talk about these, these achievements, these accomplishments. I will tell you, yeah, it does seem, you can ask anybody this, you know, they look back and say, high school seems like it wasn't that long ago. But a lot happens. Life happens. Life happens. You know, now as, as you move on, you know, as you prepare to embark on this next chapter of your lives, I, I want to remind you of the potential that rests with inside each and every one of you. You're equipped with the knowledge. You're equipped with the skills. You are equipped with the abilities. The unique perspectives that can shape the world around you in ways that you don't even know. You know, we, we tell each generation, my generation heard it, generation before me heard it, and the generations after. You know, we, hear, we say all the time, you know, we tell our, our kids, you're the future. You're the future. The future belongs to you. Believe it or not, it's very true. It's very true. One way or another, you're going to stand up. You're going to show up. You're going to take your place in our society. And if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And we've heard that before as well. Stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So now, you, 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 you've done what you need to do to get past this level. And as you move into your next level of development, what comes along with that? Next level challenges. Next level responsibilities. You know, you graduated from, from you, 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 those of you graduated from high school, and now you're young adults, right? Young adults, you know, you walk around and, you know, very proud of yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that. Because it, this is a this significant accomplishment. Significant accomplishment for, for, for you to, you know, walk across that stage, get that diploma, and get ready to embark out into the world. But you've also graduated from the little kids rules to the big kid rules. Here's the difference. Little kid rules, you know, we make a bunch of little rules. And then we hold you to those little rules to make sure that you, you know, you stay on track and you do the things you're supposed to do, etc. And now there's big kid rules. Big kid rules, which they're things you're just expected to know. You expect to know how to conduct yourself. You expect to know how to manage yourself. You expect to know how to behave uh, publicly. You're expected. These these are things that are expected of you. And should you step out of line in society, then of course the rules are a lot harsher. It's a lot more than just a, a, a timeout. You go from you know a timeout when you're a little kid to just you're going to sit in a chair for a little while. You know, one minute per 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 year in age, or how, whatever formula those want to do, uh, you know, those want to want to utilize. But as you get older, now, you know, with harsher uh, behaviors come harsher penalties, and now with, there is, you know, um, time out, but adult time out, where it's at harsher, more difficult, challenging places. And <clears throat> it's just important that we, you know, we understand that. Not that any of you will have those issues, but just as you graduate from little kid rules, you graduate to the big kid rules, just like anything else. When you move from elementary school to middle school, there are greater levels of responsibility, greater challenges that awaited you. When you left from middle school and went to high school, there are greater challenges that awaited you, and there are deeper punishments if, in fact, <clears throat> you stepped out of line. Well, as you become young adults, now we move toward adult punishment. So we just need to be aware of that. And there's adult responsibilities. There's a, an expectation <clears throat> of, you know, adulthood. And what we call adulting. Um, being a grown-up. You know, and again, you stay ready. You don't have to get ready. And... Who helps you to get ready is that village. Those people that have supported you to get you to where you are, to get you across that stage. And it doesn't stop there. 
Their goal was not just to get you across the state. These individuals are still there. These are your people that you can confide in. They're going to give you the wisdom. They're going to help you along the way to help prepare you and help you navigate through life. You're not just being pushed out there in a society and saying, hey, you're all on your own. No. You're out there in society, but you have people along the way that are there to help you and to assist you. Don't be afraid to ask for help, ask for assistance. People are there. And if I'm, you can call into the show and ask for assistance and guidance on different things. And you can also, you know, speak to the people that are around you that are there to help you. There's a lot of wisdom around you. Some of you may not realize it right now, as, as we did when we were your age. But there's a lot of wisdom around you. But you got to utilize your resources. You know, as you move to this next level, of course, we talked about those obstacles, right? We talked about the little kids rules, the big kid rules, the road ahead of you. And there's no, I'm not going to sugarcoat it to you. And those of you who know me know I don't sugarcoat it. The road ahead of you is not going to be smooth. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to always be a clear cut, straight shot to wherever you want to get to. There's going to be mountains. There's going to be hills. There's going to be valleys. There's going to be curves. Some hills are going to be steeper than others. We're going to experience some winds. We're going to experience some, some, some setbacks. That's okay. Life is life and sometimes as I heard someone say sometimes life be life in you know we get overrun by life's events and that's what life does life challenges you right the penalties are much harder but also the rewards are much greater the rewards are much greater out there you're gonna encounter some setbacks setbacks are setups for comebacks you know let those times of adversity those times you face those challenges don't let them define you. Let those opportunities, utilize those opportunities to grow. Never forget, never forget, and you've learned this thus far in your experience. Those who persevere with unwavering determination, those are the ones that become great. Think about the thing, the successes that you've had, and along the way to get to where you are, you've had some challenges. You've had, you may have not done as well on some tests as you thought you you should have done. So what happened? You went back, you dug in a little bit deeper, you pers persevered, and you achieved the goal. Some of you, you all may not have, you know, did whatever the physical activity requirement was for that sport as best you could, and you got beat. And what happened? You went back. You pushed yourself, you worked out harder, maybe you reviewed tape, maybe you found different, you went on YouTube, social media, some way, shape, or form, you talked to people, found a way to get better, to break through that barrier, and to be successful. Same thing. Those who persevere are the ones that are going to achieve greatness. You embrace these challenges as opportunities for you to grow, embrace the challenges that you face, as opportunities to learn. You hear me say all the time, the journey of life is a lesson, the classroom is always open. The classroom is all around you. But look around. Look around you, explore what's around you. There are many lessons to be learned. Many lessons to be learned. Three ways that we learn lessons. Every And every day, every day is, is learning. And this is, this is for, our, for our graduates, this is also for everybody else. Every day, you're doing these three things. You're either learning something new, you're reinforcing what you already know so that you're developing um, better competence at whatever that skill or task is. And three is the, you're learning, and this could be the most important teacher, which is you're learning what not to do either from your actions or from observing the actions of others. I encourage you all, seek wisdom. Seek wisdom. Seek wisdom because in all things, wisdom can be found. And I want you all to, to, to seek out the wisdom that's out there because there's a lot out there for you. So seek wisdom because as you seek wisdom, that will enable you to grow. That's going to enable you to be better. 
that's going to enable you to achieve and break through whatever challenges out there that you face. So ensure that you do that. So now, um, all of you, you know, it's important that we learn that we lean on one another. You know, cherish the bonds that you formed with, with the people that are in your, I call it network, but also people that are in your village, for lack of a better term. Those, those people are going to be your source of strength. Those people are going to be your source of support. Those people are going to be your source of inspiration as you navigate through the uncharted waters of your future. These are people that are going to help you navigate. These are people that are going to sometimes light the way for you in the storm. Be very aware of that and use these people accordingly. You know, um, lean on one another. Celebrate each other's successes. These are people who are going to celebrate with you. You know, lift each other up in the times of need. Everybody needs a hand. As you go off, you know, those of you that are going off to college, you know, you're going to make some lifelong connections, lifelong friends. They're going to serve you very well over the course of your journey. Some of you are going to join organizations, join fraternities, sororities. You're going to join different um, other societies or organizations that are out there. And they're going to be lifelong friendships. Some of you that have, uh, during your, those of you who graduated from college, some of you, you've had internships that have paved the way for you to lead to a career. And these are going to be lifelong friends, lifelong mentors along the way. Um, you have the power, each and every one of you, and it's important that you understand this. Regardless of where you are as far as graduating, you have the power to create change. You have the, the power to also be the change. All of that rests right here inside you. It's in there. You have the responsibility to bring it out. During your time, during your academic journey, your personal growth, you've discovered talents. You have enhanced your talents and developed them. Just understand, the talents that you have, that you've developed, you've discovered, those talents are not yours. Those talents are not your own. They're meant for you to share with the rest of the world. We hear all the time, knowledge is power. And we hear it, knowledge is power, knowledge is power, knowledge is power. That is not correct. Knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. The tacit knowledge, the experiential knowledge that you've gained along the way is no good if you keep it to yourself. No good if you don't use it. Number two, it's no good if you don't share it. There are a lot of people around you, a lot of experiential knowledge around you. Now, here's the difference. Your tacit knowledge is something that you can do without thinking about it. It's just nature. It's innate to you. As an individual, you just automatically have this pool of knowledge. You understand this. Your experiential knowledge, this is the knowledge that you've gained from your different experiences. The things you've done along the way where you have mentored others, others have mentored you, and they shared their experience or knowledge. Why? Because they may have been down that road before, and they can tell you how to properly navigate through that. We have to, and when I say we, I mean all of us. Not just show those of you that are graduating, but all of us. We have to be open to constructive criticism. We have to be open to the input of others. We have to, ha we have to be openness to the suggestions that others may make to us so that and, 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 and know that these individuals are doing this from a place of love, concern and general cons general caring for our well-being you know so I can't stress it enough to you and, it, and this, is, this is for 
all of us, but particularly to those of you that are graduating high school and moving out into the world. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna go out there. You're gonna have, you're gonna have relationships. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lose relationships. You're gonna build relationships. Um, you, you, you're gonna, you may have kids. You may get married. You may, you're gonna pursue different dreams, goals, careers. A lot of those things. Listen very closely. Never settle for anything less than what sets your soul on fire. Don't settle for anything less than what you believe that you truly deserve. And you are deserving. Don't settle for anything or anyone that does not understand and appreciate your value and your worth. And once you understand your value and your worth, it's going to be very difficult for you to mingle and linger in the company of those who don't. Hold yourself to a high standard and don't lower your standards for anything or anyone. Find your moral compass, stand your ground, and stand up for what you believe in. Because remember, you, you hold the future. So just understand that. And I'm going to say it one more time. Do not settle for anything less than what sets your soul on fire. You know, don't. Because you can spend, you will spend many years, you can spend many years recovering from that. You may spend many years in regret. But find what sets your soul on fire. Find the thing that, 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 that you know, you really, really believe in and pursue that. Don't settle for anyone that is going to make you feel undervalued, underestimated, marginalized. Don't, don't settle for that either. You are worth more. Know your worth, add the tax to that because you are worth a lot. And treat yourself as if you're worth a lot. Celebrate your victories. Small victories. Whatever they are. Celebrate your victories. Some victories you may celebrate in silence and celebrate to yourself. Do something special for yourself. Every now and then, do something special for yourself. Celebrate your small victories. And it may be something as small as, hey, I'm going to take myself out to dinner. I'm going to do this for myself. Celebrate your small victories and, 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 and show gratitude. It's your ideas, it's your voices, it's your actions that's going, to, that's going to be on full display and can set the pace and, the, and, the, and, and impact the trajectory, the entire trajectory of your way ahead. Embrace your role as a global citizen. Very simple, do what's right. Do what's right even when nobody else is watching. Do what's right when you know the right thing to do and you do because remember that big kid rules big kid rules do what's right even when nobody's watching maintain that integrity because you never know when somebody is watching just like you people will learn more from you by watching you than they will learn from the words that you say but make sure that your actions and your words align and they are uh, sewn together by integrity you, you, you all that are out there you are, again, the future. You are the advocates for the justice. You are the advocates for equality. You are, ad you are advocates for those that are misrepresented. Those that are marginalized. You have responsibility to use your voices for the people and to stand up for what's right. Even if nobody else is doing it, what's right, it will always be right. Even if everybody is doing it, what's wrong will always be wrong. Don't focus so much on what people will think of you if you do this against what everyone else wants you to do. Don't don't think that you know people are going to shun you. People are going to 
just make sure are you able to sleep at night are you able to live with yourself knowing the things that you may have done and knowing that you've done the right thing stay focused do that because it's your ideas it's your voices it's your determination it's your compassion it's all of these things that you possess that's going to make a better world for all of us some of you that are listening to this you're going to be our future edu educators some of you that are listening to this you may be our future politicians some of you are listening to this could be our future engineers doctors lawyers some of you listening to this could be our future project managers future supervisors future bosses future managers future mentors coaches teachers of someone of something you're going to impact other people we teach the things that we know we reproduce what we are so in this journey you'll discover who you are during this journey you're going to discover who you are and when you discover who you are you're going to reproduce this in other people by the lessons that you teach them and the lessons that they observe into you all of these people that are in your village along the way all the people that have supported you to get you where you are right now all these people they've poured into your cup they've poured into your cup they've poured knowledge they've poured wisdom they've poured love compassion discipline they have poured all these things into your cup and when people see you of course they see the physical you but what they also see through the spiritual you in your distinctive mannerisms is a conglomeration of all of these people and what they have put into you to make you who you are and as you go through life's journey you will be pouring into other people's cups you'll be pouring into these individuals cups as well we teach what we know we reproduce what we are and these people have reproduced or produced you by pouring into your cup you're going to produce others by what you pour into their cup so when people see some of these other individuals that you've impacted they not just see these individuals they also see you and that's how and that's that that's how it works so embrace that embrace that power embrace that ability embrace that knowledge that you have and know you have a responsibility you have a responsibility to pour into other people's cups and to pour into them successfully and actively and it's not a competition we always talk about competitiveness yes you know everybody's watching the, the playoffs right now and yeah everybody has the team and and everybody you know it's very competitive we say life's competitive that's true however your only competition is for you to do, be better today than you were yesterday you're competing against yourself you compete against you the you from yesterday so you can be better today and then seek tomorrow to be better than you were today and if you do these little progressions these little advancements along the way and by the way in route you're seeking perfection you seek to be impeccable in your words in your deeds and you seek out perfection now yes we all know perfection is in it is is unachievable because perfection is very subjective and no matter what it is things can always be done better there's always room for improvement but what I will tell you is this for all of you in the pursuit of perfection you will find excellence because if you continue to do better today than you did yesterday and you continue to do this and make these incremental increases or advancements along the way you will seek you will find excellence that is without a doubt and then once you find excellence you have a responsibility to continue that excellence because one day someone in their pursuit of perfection will find you and you will be the model of excellence you will be the wisdom that they seek someone mentioned us uh, told me uh, it was a while ago 
you know, seek wisdom, make the wise decisions. Imitation, copying the acts of others, emulating the actions of others. Yeah, that's the easiest way. That's the easiest. Reflection, look back over your past. Don't dwell there, but use that as opportunities for learning to build, to grow. Look back at these moments. And do a self, honest self-analysis how you could have may have done things better. Reflection. Look back at our old actions, old behaviors. When you're not the old you, you don't live there anymore. But it doesn't hurt you to remember that address so you know you don't go back there. So reflection, that can be the most noble. That can be also be the most humbling. But experience. People say that life is, is, is short. Life is not really short. Life is long. If you want to know how long life is, make a series of bad decisions and let experience have to be your teacher through these bad experiences. Now, yes, we all are going to make bad decisions. We're all going to have some bad experiences. Life is going to teach us some lessons. The lessons that are not taught to us as we go through by our parents, by the people in our village, those lessons that we refuse to learn, life will teach those lessons to us. Life will teach it to us. The difference is that experience can be bitter. It can be very bitter. It can be bitter. It can be hurtful. And no matter how, the, but where, where your determination, your resilience, where your true test of character comes is when life knocks you down is when you get back up. Because no matter how hard someone hits you, life is going to hit you 10 times harder but you got to get back up. You got to dust yourself off. You got to get back out there in the fight. And you've done that to get to where you are right now. Nobody, and I don't care what anyone says, you know, and yeah, you know, you all could probably call in. Again, call in 321 216 6279. Yes, you can call in. And maybe and you can say, hey, yeah, it was an easy path. But I would challenge no one had an easy path to graduation. There were some setbacks. Nobody had a smooth path. I'm just going to skate through freshman year all the way up to my, my, my senior year and just going to graduate without issue, without incident or anything. It's impossible. It's impossible. Everybody's had their share of challenges. Everybody's had to overcome certain things. You're no different. So now someone posted here in the chat. All right. Uh, congratulations to all the graduates. My advice to all the high school graduates. Go to college. Going to college is to find a mentor. It'll make transitioning a bit easier from high school to college. Again, hey, and by all means, I'm gonna put right here in the chat. Call in. Call in. Call in, and let's let's share this over the airwaves too. Yes, I can read it, but it'd be great hearing from your voice so these individuals know they have this community that is helping them out there. It says here, you know. I agree, find what sets your soul on fire. I will tell you, you find what sets your soul on fire, it will serve you immensely. I, you know, had a determination long when I when I long ago when I when I got out of high school, I knew college was my thing. I went to the military, went to the military, did my thing in the military, got out. And it would have everyone thought it would have been a smooth thing, okay. I go in the military, I'm gonna do 20 years and retire out. Well, it didn't work that way. I went in, did, you know, did five years, five and a half years or so, and then I got out. And I got out as a single parent. And when I got out as a single parent, you know, yeah, that wasn't something that was planned. I didn't say, hey, okay, I'm graduate high school, I'm gonna be a single parent, I'm gonna do this. No, but I, I actually I got out, ended up going going to college, and then while I was in college, someone spoke to me along the way and then they you know, I um, they talked me into going into what's called the Reserve Officer Training Program uh, Corps, and I did that. And so I went. One of my good friends is right here, just watching right now. Shout out to Sam Stanelli, that's listening. I believe he's in D.C. Anyway, so I um, and from there, I had my bumps and bruises in college and all that stuff along the way, and then I went to the military. From there, as, as a commissioned officer, after I got my commission. I, I, I did that and 
at about 17 years or something, you know, I was throwing a curveball and I, I came up um, one side of, of the military, went over into the reserve side and was active and did that. And then from there, I did that for, for about a year or so and then came back on active duty and then I retired. So it was not a smooth transition. It was not a smooth, clear cut, straightforward, direct, straight arrow shot to retirement. It was a non-conventional route. Just like many of you, to get to where you want to get to, it's going to be a non-conventional route. It's not going to be an easy transition, but yes, listen to the people around you. Get that pool of knowledge that's around you, and those individuals are a wealth of knowledge, and they're going to help you to get to where it is you need to get to. Okay, I have here. Okay, congratulations. Uh, yep, okay, we got that. Uh, I want to make sure that I catch everybody that's posting in the chat here. Okay, and yes, uh, Shalita, so yes, she agrees with, uh, with Mike. And that's true. Find yourself a mentor. And I was saying, not even just for college. Find yourself a mentor regardless of what you do. Find, if you, if, if you want to go into some type of other training, if you want to go to work um, for a while or something, find mentors that are out there that are in the profession. Find people and seek these early, folks. I'll tell you, those of you that are graduating, you know, seek seek out people early that are doing perhaps the jobs or have the skill sets that you want. People that are doing the jobs that you desire to do. Sit down, talk to these people, spend some time with these people. Call in uh, 321-216-6279. Give a shout out to your graduates. Give a shout out to yourselves. Graduates, call, call in, give a shout out to your parents. Give a shout out to those around you so we can celebrate this monumental achievement. So now seek out those mentors along the way that are going to show you how to navigate through some of the challenges you may face out there. Again, we teach the things we know. We reproduce what we are. And we find excellence. Excellence exists all around us. Find that excellence. Find that person, the example in which you want to follow. And, and, and speak to them. Find out their journey, find out their path, get their input, their advice. It will serve you immensely, trust me. Because the last thing you want to do is go into a, a, go into something, spend a lot of time and effort going into something, and then find out, you know, this wasn't really your passion. And, and what happens, a lot of times we tend to go into things that, you know, this is going to be an easier route. It's not going to make me happy, but it's going to it's going to be an easier route for me to do this. Well, sometimes you got to take that hard route. You got to take the hard route to to do what you are really destined to do and find something that you feel strongly about. That's this, you know, you really want to do that that gives you fire, that ignites that fire within you, that passion to want to do you know, whatever it is, that is. All right, so and, and I, I want to I want to also talk about, and again, you all call in 321-216-6279. You know, other things that I, I've desired to do, you know, this right here. This is something I, 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 I kind of desired to do, you know, have, do something across, well, of course, during the time I was in college, social media wasn't a thing, but um, to to broadcast to do things such as this is just something I enjoy doing I believe the outreach is uh, is is you know uh, extensive and I believe that it is it is a value add to everyone um, this this platform and I am I'm very fortunate to have this platform where I can reach out to people I'm very prep fortunate to have supporters those that are out there that listen uh, to this and that watch this even throughout the, the, you know, the week as you watch it over the past couple of years that I've been doing this. Also want to send a shout out to the, all of you that have given me your support along the way. Um, Shalita, I want to send a shout out. Uh, Shalita D. Larry that's in here. I want to send a shout out because I don't know if you all were on from the very beginning, but at the beginning there was a promo on there. And she was gracious enough to put this together for me. And I think that it was amazing. And I definitely appreciate it. She sent it to me. 
and I was like, you know, I'm using this today, and I put it on there, and that is going to be the uh, that's going to be the new opening for the show, uh, as far as and as well as perhaps commercials as well. Okay, so um, well, let's 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 also take a little bit of time to talk about uh, reflection and and inspiration. You know, it's it's a topic that really resonates um, within all of us. You know, and that's it, and all this ties in with our graduates, right? When I talk about what's gonna you know set your soul on fire. Something's going to give you passion, and 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 of course, something's going to give you passion. It's going to generate an income. Okay, that goes without saying. But part of fi finding what what gives you what what lights your soul on fire, that gives you that motivation um, to 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 drive on. It's it, it, it's really it's something that, that that dwells deep within us, and it's that light. You know, that light. We got to let that light shine. You know, each of us carries with us that unique spark within us. We've got to find those ways to keep that fire burning, to keep that spark, right? It's a brilliance. It's a brilliance that's waiting to eliminate, to, to illuminate. Waiting to illuminate and illuminate the world around us. And it's going to radiate to those around us and in our outreach, right? And as you all step out into this new season, and of course, those of you that are graduating high school, graduating college, um, those of you that are even stepping in new seasons, that they're going into other phases of your life, right? You have that brilliance, that spark within you that, that, that's waiting to illuminate. And we've all been around those people whose light shines bright. You have a light too. You have a light too. Now, sometimes we allow life to let this light go out. We allow life to to dim our light a little bit. Well, we need to, we need to, we need to reignite that fire. We need to relight that light, because we are the light that provides the brilliance and and serve as a beacon through the tunnel of those that are going to seek out us in their pursuit of perfection. So let's take a moment to explore the power and significance of unleashing that light that's deep within you. You know, life has a way of presenting us, of course, with the challenges, with the struggles, the obstacles. Um, life be life like I said before. Life be life and as life lies on us, it affects us. Um, we face some of these setbacks. We have these disappointments. We have these moments of self-doubt that make us question our true value our true worth as an individual and sometimes even to our societies to those around us uh, deep within us lies the extraordinary potential the source of infinite radiance within us that can conquer and shine through any darkness that we encounter and if you look back on your life you will see there were times when you had to go through some dark moments and you shined your light the thing is, sometimes we get tired. We get tired of shining the light all the time. You can't get tired. You can't give up. You got to make it. You will make it. You will make it. Let the light shine. Let your light shine so other people around you will see it. Your setbacks, they're setups for comebacks. Your disappointments provide the foundation for your future anointments. You have these challenges. You can overcome these challenges. You've done it before. You will do it again. All of you that are listening to this within the sound of my voice, you have a 100% success rate in any challenges that you've had to face. And the reason is because you're still here. You've had these challenges where some, some people that have gone through the same thing that you have, may have gone through in the past, and you know what you've gone through. I don't. But you look back at some of the things you've gone through in the past, some people would have just laid down and gave up. But not you. You didn't lay down. You didn't give up. You fought the fight. Some of you may be still fighting. 
but you're not laying down, you're fighting the fight. And it's important that you do that. Continue to fight the fight. Fight for your light to continue shining. Fight, fight for the brilliance, the brightness, the illumination of your light. You're going to have all kinds of people out there going to try to dim your light. You're going to have all people, kinds of people out there, you've made these significant accomplishments, you're going to try to downplay it. You're going to try to make you feel substandard for certain achievements. No. Acknowledge your achievements. Be humble, but acknowledge your achievements. Acknowledge them. Be proud of who you are, what you do, how far you've come, and understand no matter where you are, this is only the beginning because you have more so much more to do, so much more to give, and your light is going to shine so much longer, so much brighter, and what are you doing? Just like we see in the Olympics, in the Olympics, it starts out with a torch, and this person takes this torch from wherever country, wherever it starts at, and they are running with this torch. And what are they doing? They're running towards someone else. And someone else, as they're running, this person standing there like this. And what happens? This person runs up and they light that torch. And they share that flame. And what is this person? This person takes it and they run with it. And they run until they get to the next person and they light that torch. And this person runs to it and it runs all the way to, to the very last person that lights it, that, that, that grabs that, and then they light the large flame. Now notice, each person shared their light, but as they shared their light, their light didn't get dimmer. Their light didn't get dimmer. They kept their light going. They kept their light going. It didn't get dimmer. They just shared the light with someone else and helped them to ignite their fire so that they could take that fire and move forward to light someone else's fire. And what happens? All of this started from the very beginning. We teach what we know to reproduce what we are. And this fire for the big flame started way back with one person that ignited this fire. And they carried it and they went on to light and ignite several other flames along the way. Not dimming their own, but sharing what they had to light the light of others. That's what we do. And don't let anyone else dim your light. The lane won't blow it out. The lane won't snuff it out. The lane won't pour water on your, fly, on your flame. Don't let anyone put your flame out. You continue. You continue to exuberate your brilliance as you continue to go through. Now, it's easy, you know, for us to let that let that flame go out because, you know, like life we get overrun by life's events. Things that can cause us to feel down, depressed, all this. Just understand that flame is in there. Just like how you have that little voice in the back of your mind that may be giving you these words of self-doubt, there's also that other voice that's telling you, ignore them. You can do it. You can do it. You've done it before, you'll do it again. And I'm here for you. It's time to release those shackles. The shackles that are holding you back. That are keeping you from uh, achieving what it is you want to achieve. That are attempting to darken your flame or lessen your flame. It's time for you to let go of those fears. Let go of those insecurities that are attempting to dim your light. Embrace those talents. Embrace those passions, those dreams. Acknowledge that your light, no matter how small sometimes your light may seem, how small that ember may be, just understand that your light has the power to create that ripple effect. Just as that torch was lit at the very beginning, and goes and travels around the world to finally light the final flame that begins the games. Your light is one in the many chain of light, chains of lights 
that lead to that eternal flame and we use that as we light everyone else that follows around us. We have the ability to uplift, to inspire others in ways that we just couldn't even imagine. You all have been inspired. Look around. Think about the people around you that have helped you, that have spoken to you, giving you those words of affirmation. Yes, you've been inspired. You've been an inspiration to other people, whether they told you or not. You've inspired other people. There's wisdom, there's wisdom that you've bestowed upon people that they use to this day. Sometimes they may not remember what you said, may not definitely remember what you did, may not even remember that they got it from you. But they do remember that when they got this piece of advice, they do remember how it made them feel and that it was something they wanted to emulate. And so they do that. So now just remember, you know, your your light, you know, is not about is seeking keep keeping your light shining. It's not about seeking a, a extreme validation from other people. It's not about conforming to what society expects of you, what people around you expect of you. It's not about putting on a facade of who you really are. Be your genuine self. It's about embracing the fact that you are authentic. Your true self honoring the gifts that make you who you are. Your light is the beacon of hope, creativity, is the beacon of love. Your light has changed lives just like someone's light has changed your own. And your light can also change your own life as well as you keep it lit. And you keep finding ways to keep your life, your, your, your light lit. Again, you can call in. Again, send shout outs to your graduates. Give them words of wisdom. Maybe the best piece of advice you've ever received that we can give to these young men, women, and other as they step out into this new world, this new season. Maybe words of inspiration that you may want to share just with the listeners. Maybe words of wisdom you might want to share with me. Um, words of affirmation, inspiration. Um, maybe words of reflection. Maybe as you look back, maybe some things you... Wisdom you might want to impart on, on those of us that are listening to help us make it through the weekend and help us to grow. By all means, share that with us. We would love to hear it. We would definitely love to hear it. So, let's see. Um, you know, uh, again, you know, think of some of the, think of some of the, the, the great souls in our history, the great people that we've met uh, as we, we traveled throughout our lives and they let their light shine you know think about these artists these inventors these activists these leaders these people that were visionaries that recognized their talents and sometimes at the time they didn't even know it was a talent but they, 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 they recognized they had some abilities they had extraordinary abilities and they shared these abilities with the rest of the world. They shared this light with the rest of the world. And they've allowed it to shine. And they created a better world because of it. They dared to follow their dreams. They dared to follow others. They dared to follow their passions. People call, you listen to some of these successful people. People have called them crazy. People have called them demented. People have called them delusional. There have always been people that have that, that people have called people have called you crazy. People have called you delusional. People have told you you're never going to be able to do it. People have told you that you know, uh, you're never going to be able to do that. You can't do it. People have uh, there are people that have told you things you can't do. There are people, and whether you know it or not, there are people who've talked about you behind your back. And and and. and Talk, talk badly about you behind your back. But these same individuals, they're there in silence when they see you succeed. These people have nothing to say when they hear your successes. 
these are the same people. They are there to, you know, you, you can't do it. You won't do it. You don't have it in you. It's not possible. You don't have what it takes. And what happens? You show these individuals wrong. Sometimes you told yourself you didn't have what it takes. And you proved to yourself that you could do it. Some things that you've done, you've amazed yourself. Like, there's no way I, I thought I'd be able to do that. But you did it. And you have so much more to do and so much more to give. You have that light. Let that light shine and let it shine bright so that everyone in the world can see your light. And that it can radiate and spill out and light the fire to them. So that they too will have their light shine so that everyone can see. It's not about... It's not always easy to let your light shine. It's not easy at all. It's, it sounds very easy. It's much easier said than done as the phrase goes. And it's hard, especially in a world like today, when, when you know, this world often, you know, conforms to, to values uh, over individuality. Um, Self-worth, in many times, is is based on or validated by the number of likes, the number of loves we get on social media, um, the opinion, so much rests on the opinions of others, there's so much shaming uh, that's going on, you have, you know, body shaming, you have gender shaming, uh, orientation shaming, you even have uh, wallet shaming, you know, some people, they don't have as much money as other people, and so, you know, people find ways to shame others you know but 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 letting your light shine is not about having the most money having your light shine is not about being the the biggest and the best person in the room being the most powerful person in the room you having your light shine is you being the better person than you were yesterday as you compete against yourself and your standard. Now, if that leads you to be the better person in the room, then yes, hey, so be it. But having your light shine is about being the best version of yourself to the point in which others may very well find your light, see your light, and emulate, and in fact, ask you to mentor them and to light their flame as well. Remember your light is needed in the world. It has the power to illuminate the darkest corners of our society and in our lives and the lives of other people. It can bring warmth, it can bring comfort to those around us who are lost in, in pain, in spare, despair, those who are lost spiritually, those who are lost mentally. Our light can, can, can provide brilliance or illumination to those folks around us. It has the ability to ignite the change and create a better world. Our light has the ability to do that. We have to take care of our light. We have to preserve our light. We have to make our light our priority. Keep your light shining. Keep your light shining. So, as we take a moment, you know, we we, we can connect with our inner light. You know, yeah, you know, let, let's, let's, from time to time, just take a moment out for yourself. You know, close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Visualize. Visualize the radiant glow that's within your being and reflect. Reflect. Um, feel, feel your, you can feel your light expanding. Um, we can reach every corner of your being and beyond. You can embrace the belief that you're worthy. You're capable, competent. Be confident. You're deserving of sharing your light with the world because the world needs your light the world needs you the world needs your talents the world needs your lights the world needs you to light the way 
As you let your light shine, don't be afraid of the shadows that are out there. Don't be afraid of those naysayers, those people that are going to try to dim you. Don't be afraid of the fact that maybe some days you don't feel your light is going to shine as bright or shining as bright as you would like it to. Just know your light is there and you let it shine. And those of you, as you embark upon this new journey, as you've graduated and you step into your new season, you have that light. You have people around you. They're going to help you to build your light, help your light grow. You have people that are going to do that. You have people that have lit your flame. You have people around you that as they light your flame, their flame gets stronger too. So just embrace that. Embrace your ability to light the way for other people. Your light will not only illuminate the path, but it's also going to reveal the beauty that's within those shadows. So when you do your when you when you have your light and you go into some of your darkest areas and you let your light shine you see how much you grow you see the things that are revealed to you and the brilliance of that in your light there's no there's no choice but to let that light shine because it's there and it's there for you to preserve and to cultivate so let, let's you know it, it embrace the, the wholeness of your journey Embrace the brilliance of your light. Allow it to guide you through both your triumphs, your trials, your tribulations. Your light provides strength to you. Your light provides strength to others. Feel free to call in 321-216-6279. 321-216-6279. This opportunity for you to give a shout out to your graduate. Give a shout out to yourselves. Graduates call in. Give a shout out to those people in your village. Tell us about your light. Tell us about what gives you a passion, what your desires are, your your goals, your objectives as you step into this new season. Share it with us. Let us know what your plans are. We would love to hear it. The world would love to hear what your goals, your dreams are for the way ahead, for your future. And the world is out there ready to help. They're standing on the sidelines cheering you on as you are on the field. You are the person in the arena. And people are out there on the sidelines cheering you on. You have a, you have a large fan base. It's out there. It's out there. And they are cheering you on. But embrace it. Because they are there to light your torch. And keep your light going. Give you those words of encouragement. So... And have 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 uh, take some time to reflect. You know, I encourage you to go forth. You know, and 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 do so with courage. Do so with conviction. You know, let your light shine brightly, unapologetically. But more importantly, let your light shine authentically. The world waits for the brilliance that only you can provide it. You are an individual that is so specific, so talented, you are custom made and personalized and only you have a light that only you possess that only you can share. You have the power to make difference, make a difference, to touch hearts, to inspire change. Go out there and let your light shine so that it is so brilliant that other people can cannot help but acknowledge it and get a piece of your light. So now we're going to go over to a commercial. And when we go over to a commercial, again, you all can call in 321 216 6279. 321 216 6279. Call in, do some shout outs. Call in, whatever it is you want, to, you want to talk about. Call in, share it with us. I'd love to hear it. We would love to hear it out here as we talk. Also, you can post here in the chat for those of you that are watching. We'll go right over to a commercial. You're not 
you're gonna be able to do this. Now these, these negative things that when we are under stress, and it could be selfish, it could be personal reason. We don't wanna, I mean, it's a, but when things happen, professionnel réel dans les affaires assurance parce que dans affaires assurance pas guérance ni bonne chance nous recommandons oui on se l'a Jean-Claude Jonassin mettre question dans le domaine assurance quelle que soit l'assurance sort il y a assurance machine car et commercial et la trière prix compétitif là dans first class insurance and financial services il y a un professionnel pour toi compétent et conséquent capteur là Jean-Claude Jonassin first class insurance 6003 Babcock Street South East Palm Bay Florida 321-727-8142-321-727-8142 First Class Insurance, c'est lui, oui. Vous avez besoin d'un professionnel réel dans les affaires d'assurance parce que dans les affaires d'assurance, pas bien rance, ni branche. Oui, on se l'a, Jean-Claude Jonassin, mettre question dans le domaine assurance. Quelle que soit l'assurance, sort, il y a assurance machine, car commercial, la vie, santé et la trière, prix compétitif. Là, dans First Class Insurance and Financial Services, il y a un professionnel courtois, compétent et conséquent, capteur là. Jean-Claude Jonassin, First Class Insurance, 6003 Babcock Street, South East Palm Bay, Florida, 321-727-8142-321-727-8142. First Class Insurance, c'est lui, oui. Vous avez besoin d'un professionnel réel. You're not going to be able to do this. Now, these, these negative things that when we are under stress, and it could be selfish, it could be personal reasons. We don't want to, I mean, it's a, but when things happen, all right everybody well the uh yeah i want to say thank you all for uh you know posting uh in the chat and you know your input here in the chat i've been reading some of these and these are very good i think i, I think i've read most of them yeah, I've read all of them out already. But I want to say uh, thanks a lot for y'all for tuning in. Before we close this out, I want to leave y'all with this last and final uh, thought as we conclude you know, the moment of celebration for our graduates, for ourselves, for our village, our network that helped these individuals to get across that stage and push them, catapult them, lead them, guide them, direct them, influence them, persuade them, light their flame, light their fire as they step into this new journey along the way. I will leave you with a quote. Here's from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Very good writer. Um, he said, you know, do, do not follow where the path may lead, but go instead where, no, where there is no path and leave a trail. I will expand on that. You know, as in the pursuit of perfection, as you've heard me say earlier, in the pursuit of perfection, you will find excellence. And sometimes that excellence requires you to forge your own path. But as you forge your own path, someone else that is in, in pursuit of perfection will find you. And as they find you at the crossroads, as they forge their own path, you will be that excellence that they seek. And then, once we achieve or we find that excellence, we have a responsibility to be that excellence so that we can be found. And that is how we keep the cycle going. So, for you, those of you that are graduating, those of you that are just stepping into a new season, on whatever level or platform that may be. Forge your own path. Leave incredible, unsurmountable, amazing marks in the world. And seek to make your dreams become reality 
and then also seek to help others to make their dreams become realities because that's how we grow as a community and we grow together so with that um i want to say thank you very much to those of you that's posting in the chat those of you that perhaps wanted to call but were not able to call due to other circumstances and those of you that were just listening and you know just didn't want to call but you wanted to listen to the show i appreciate your support on whatever level that may be in whatever magnitude that you provide I'm very grateful for that. You could have been anywhere at this moment in time, however you allowed me to come in and to share your space for this finite period. And for that, I am very, very, very grateful. I cannot express enough my gratitude for doing so. Have a couple new listeners. I want to say thank you all very much. And I hope that you all, you know, continue to listen and perhaps maybe call and contribute sometime, whether it be in the chat or you call in on the phone lines. So as I like to end every show, the journey of life is a lesson. The classroom is always open. So let's live, let's learn, and let's grow together. You'll be able to catch this um, as we run it back on uh, YouTube. And also, it'll be posted out there on Facebook as well for those who see it. And the link will also be posted on Twitter. You can also text into this number at any time and give suggestions on the show suggested topics or the like and we'll gladly accommodate that and perhaps build a topic around that um, again thank you all very much for your support I hope that you all uh, you know share this with your graduates let them know they have our encouragement they have a village behind them and we look forward to hearing and and, and being on the sidelines cheering them from the stands as we have, are there to witness their successes their achievements and provide our you know undying support to them as they pursue greatness in whatever capacity that may be we're there to support them and we're very proud of them and what they've done so with that I'm going to sign off hope that you all have uh, you know a wonderful week and that this gives you some motivation some determination some uh, inspiration as you go forth into this coming week share this with your graduates run this back let them see it let them hear it let them know they have our support and with that i like to say have a great week and thank you all very much this is dr larry thomas with the dr larry thomas show have a wonderful week Thank you.